Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing okay and I hope you're having a great week wherever you are. So far, the weather here has been, it's been absolutely glorious. It's been lovely. We finally got the garden done. Yay! Well, it's going to rain tomorrow. <laughs> so, yeah, finally got the garden done so we can sit out in the garden and the kids can play. And yeah, we're going to have a few days of downpour. But yeah, anyway, we're not here for that. <laughs> you guys, we're here for another unboxing. So this is from Biggest Craft, a, a company that I'm well known with. They asked me if I'd like to do an unboxing with them and a review. So I said, yes, of course, it's always a pleasure. So thank you to Biggest Craft for sending me this uh, these items for an unboxing. And it's going to be more of an unboxing, a review. I can do more of that when I've started stitching the pieces. So... We have got two kits here, so we're going to have a look at one each first. Now, the one kit, it's an 18 count. Now, I've only ever had one other 18 count before. I didn't get on well with it because the reason being is because uh, it wasn't surged around the edges, so I found that it was fraying quite easy. And it was before I had my lamp setting, so I was struggling to see it. So I thought I would give it a second go. Now, that kit wasn't from this company, Biggest Craft, so that's not anything to do with the company itself. But I wanted to give it another go, not to mention I loved the picture on this one. So it's a little bit, fabric's a little bit wrinkled, but we'll get there. So we've got instructions for cross stitch that comes with almost every kit that you have. Um, whether you're new to cross stitch or you're familiar with cross stitch, you're cleaning and maintenance because obviously you want to wash the fabric when it's done. And also your embroidery description. I'm not going to go too far into this because I do include this on, on my other videos. Now, I will say... Um, I do apologise. I hope you can hear me. I hope the voicings are okay. I do apologise if it might be a little bit lower. It's because me being me, I forgot to charge up my mic. <laughs> I meant to do it and, yeah, like I said, me being me. <laughs> anyway, we've got a toolkit. So you get your needle threader, your thimble, and your pom-pom with about five needles. So I'll be taking those needle out, needles out and putting them in a need, uh, magnetic needle case. So we've got those. And we'll take a look. Right, we'll have a look at the picture first. Now, it doesn't come with a big picture, which, to be honest, I wish the... <laughs> Some do, some don't. Uh, I would like for it to come with a big picture so we can see actually what we're stitching. Um, but it comes with a little thumbnail. So here you can see that it's Dobby from Harry Potter. Now they've had a few, they started having a few of these on their sides, the little Harry Potter ones. And that's another reason why I was intrigued to try the... 18 count as well now we've got the chart here i'm not going to show it too much because we can't <laughs> show too much of the chart the chart's small it's quite small however i can see it and it's clear and i'm going to slap my husband <laughs> i can see it and it's clear so that's not too bad so we're going to have a look at the threads and then we'll have a look at the fabric itself. So you've got the number on here corresponding to the number that will be on the fabric so you know which it belongs to. Now the threads here are on flush drops. I like the flush drops. I do like the flush drops. However, I do like to get the rings that the flush drops go on. For these because what i usually do is i snip the tops of these off obviously don't snip the number off keep that on 
just do it above, snip that bit off. And then these, they easily go on the flush drops. So we've got some beautiful, beautiful colours. We've got a lot of blues in here because there is a lot of blue in the kit itself. We have got some gorgeous. I love these blues. Oh, that one's nice. This one. This one's like a dark royal blue. It's. Can you see that? It looks really shiny. That is beautiful. We've got one here that looks like could that be 310 or is it slight ever so slightly light to be 310 not 310 310 is black i mean 939 sorry <laughs> uh, it's because i'm doing this video in the afternoon you can guarantee someone in the evening the comments now are going it's not <laughs> <laughs> sorry one. guys it is 939, nine, not 310. We've got some reds here, some nice red colours. We've got like a golden one here. That's more of an, what's it, would you say that's like a Burns yellow? Orange. Yeah. Yellow. Like a golden one here. And we've got some purples here as well. So those fret, oh, they're beautiful. I could just play around with the frets all day. <laughs> I could just sit there stroking the threads. Yeah, I think you're appealing to a different type of audience, so. <laughs> yeah, I think my husband's starting to get a bit worried now. Don't worry, love, I'm not the only one. <laughs> I'm not the only one. You better be. <laughs> so, yeah, that is the thread, so I do like the threads. So, now we'll have a look at the chart itself. Not the chart, the fabric. <laughs> what am I on about? Rolling. So it's a little bit creased, but we can easily sort this out if we just roll it up a bit. Oh, don't worry if you can't see if it's small, I will bring it up to the camera. So I'm just going to roll it out like that. And then, yeah, roll it the other way. So it's not too much of a large kit, it's like smaller, but saying that, it is a 18 count, so that's why it'll look smaller. So it is a 30 by 30, so it is 170 stitches by 170. It has 30 colours, so that's quite good, 30 colours is alright. A corresponding DMC code, which is more like a CXC, but we'll have a look at the printing. So I'll hold it up to the camera so you can see for yourself as well. Um, <laughs> it's small. <laughs> it is small. Very small, in fact. However, I think if I... Because this one as well, the fabric is also surged, so I'm not going to have the unthreading problem that I had with the other one. Not to mention with 18 count, you can either do, with this one, 18 count, you can do two, two strands of thread, but just do half a stitch, like 10 stitch, using either using two strands or one strand of thread, full cross. But I think you might be able to still see the fabric if I do that. So I think the best way to go around this one. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. <coughs> I think the best way to go around this one is probably two strands of thread. But tent stitch. Something that's where I'm going to do. Down, this is going to be a bit difficult down here to see. Because <laughs> down here we've got. Number seven, I can see that. But here, right next to it, is a different symbol. And you can hardly see that. And yeah, I can hardly, hardly see that. But let's have a quick look at the chart and see if it... You can you can see it on the chart. It could be. My husband was just saying about the magnifier. So let's see if we can... <laughs> Sorry, I've got <laughs> plank stuck to it. So let's see if we can see it with a magnifier. It's still very vague. 
yeah it does now i can see it slightly more so it's going to be a bit more difficult to do that part as you can see there the magnifier works it's going to be a bit difficult to do that part however i'm willing to give it a go i'm willing to give it a go Sorry, it's the thing that my son made for me. So, yeah, I am happy with it. You can hear my husband snorting in the background. I am happy with it. I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to try it. Uh, I could always do on this one what I've been doing on the others as well. The 50 by 50. And do it that way. Because at least then it doesn't seem like it's a big, massive chunk that I'm trying to do so I might try that not to mention this one I'll be able to get this on the smaller Q snap so yeah all good so I like that so that is the one kit I might leave it out of its pack actually because thank you <laughs> I'm going to leave that out the pack because I can put this in one of the project bags that I had. So, yeah. So I'm just going to pop this to the side. So that is the Harry Potter kit. Now the next one, this is an 11 count Ada. So this one is much larger. So we have the standard tour kit again. The needle threader thimble pom pom with five needles. We have our instructions. I'm not going to read through the instructions again because I've just basically told you about that. So, yeah, got our instructions. We have the chart. And again, we don't have a big picture on this one. So I'm not going to be able to show you the big picture on here. However, we have a little picture in the corner. So this one is Winnie the Pooh and Mickey Mouse. I thought I'd go with something different. So yeah, the chart itself, that is clear as crystal. The chart is clear as crystal and I can see it perfectly. It's on the shiny background as well so yeah that is a very good chart i like that so we'll have a look at the threads so we're gonna have a lot of orange ones in this one because obviously we've got winnie the pooh and with the honey pot well i think he's got a honey pot we're gonna have winnie the pooh with like honey colors So we've got our colours on here and again like I said before what I do with these is just cut the top bits off don't cut <laughs> the number off because obviously you're not going to know what number they are but if you just cut these top bits off here you can easily put those on one of the floss ring drops. So as I said we've got a lot of orange tones so we've got golden orange here we've got a that's a nice burnt orange that i like that we've got red so i'm guessing it's either part of winnie the pooh or it's mickey mouse because uh mickey mouse has red in his shorts <laughs> we have 310 this is black and we have white we have white as well. So we've got some more colours at the back here. I don't think this is quite 939 because it looks a tad bit lighter. On camera it looks darker but holding it in my hand it looks a bit lighter. We've got brown in here as well. Brown colours. We've got some like a purplish grey here. Like a grey with a tint of purple in. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that there. But yeah, more reds here as well. Some more reds there. I'm not going to take the elastic off because, yeah, maybe me. I ain't going to be able to get it back on. But those threads are gorgeous. They're really nice. I like those. 
so we'll have a look at the fabric on this one so this one it is obviously a larger one because of it being obviously bigger and being on an 11 on an 11 count so it is a 50 by 50 and this one is also surged the margins are not that thick so i might i might be able to i don't think i'm going to be able to get on a q snap really at first because this bit because q snap bars are quite thick so that is going to definitely overlap there but what i'm going to do what i did with what i'm doing with my other one is mark my starting point which would be 50 here 50 going across there so here would be my starting point so if i put this in a frame that bit will get covered but i'll be able to stitch all of this bit so i'd stitch this bit take it off the frame and then stitch round there so it's easy to get through so with this one it has 35 colors this one does oh isn't that nice <laughs> i like this and i can see it they do look clear as well there's plenty of block coloring in this one too we do have some red down here which are next to a red box with a white dot but i can tell that i can tell the difference in between that oh i can't wait to start this one i want to start it now <laughs> i want to start it now but yeah we've got winnie the pooh there obviously you've got mickey mouse here it's going to be a lot of fun to work on this one it is i might start it while i watch um oh i'll be watching mine hunter again tonight i'm nearly at the end of that series um however i am doing the 50 by 50 on the other one so i kind of want to i'd have to take the frame off that that off the frame first because i've only got so many frames but i want to start it <laughs> i love it i really love it so yeah i do like it i do like it it's a bit thick obviously starchy because of it being an 11 count ada well, that's not a problem i can see the fabric on here absolutely perfect i can see it perfect so yeah i like that i really do so you have that the threads which and I think I'm going to bother putting in that thing again because I'm going to put them in project bags. The chart instructions there. Just put the instructions there. And the kit. So, yeah, we got that kit as well. Now, pricing wise, I don't. I'm going to have to put it in the description below. What I'll do is I'll do it in my in every video that I do. I'll put a link to... My brain's going blank. I'll put my link to Biggest Craft in the description below. And I'll also put a link to both of these kits in the description below as well. So you can have a look at your own convenience. Yeah, so it, which one do I start first? Do I start this one, which I can get this smaller frame round? Well, none of them are inconvenient, really. It's going to be harder to see this one, so I need good good lighting for this. Um, or I can start that one. <laughs> I don't know what to start first. So yeah, anyway. I just want to say again, thank you to Biggest Craft for sending me these kits for an unboxing. Um, I think the only thing that I would probably say at the minute is, because I know it's not a reflection on Biggest Craft themselves, because the makers of these kits, they actually get sent to them. So the only feedback that I would probably give at the minute for the unboxing is a bigger picture of what the design is. 
because it's yeah you've got the smaller picture on there but sometimes they're not always clear so i'd probably say a bigger picture to go with each design so you can see so besides that um like i said uh thank you very much for sending me these kits for an unboxing um i can't wait to start them I'm gonna have a lot of fun starting them so i hope you've enjoyed the video if you have a uh, Please feel free to give the video a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Uh, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, then please consider pressing that subscribe button and the notifications bell so you'll be notified of when I bring my next video out. And as well, if you are gamers as well, then feel free to follow my husband on YouTube under crow angel gaming he's done a lot of lot, a lot of lot of work lately <laughs> a lot of work um putting his videos out there so yeah if you are a gamer yourself um it's worth checking out so anyway guys uh i'm gonna get going now if you're not already subscribed to the channel as well i don't know if i've said that yet i have <laughs> I think I'm starting to get tired now. So, yeah, I'm going to get going now, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. And I will see you again soon. So, yeah, if you've enjoyed the video, please feel free to give it a big thumbs up. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And I'm going to get going now. So, <laughs> I'll see you again soon, guys. <laughs> Uh, have a good one and see you soon. Bye.